All right, oh, morning. Something a bit different today. Um, there is no training today. Today is a rest day. First one I've had in a while. Although it will not be a rest day uh, by any means. Well, it will be not be a day of rest, let's put it that way. Um, I am <clears throat> off to Bristol right now. Um, I've got an appointment there. But yeah, this morning I decided to stay in, uh, stay in bed. So I did that. I had a decent breakfast. Um, packed a bunch of food because today I'm off to get um, to my first tattoo done. So some life events happen at the start of the year, uh, which I'll probably go into in a future video maybe, um, and kind of change my outlook on a lot of things. And now, uh, well, back in well, five months ago, so what would that be, May, I booked a booked in with an artist in Bristol whose, love, whose work I saw on a... Uh, Instagram and just instantly fell in love with so it's been a long time coming I'm super excited for it I've also since booking in lost 36 pounds uh, so the reference photos of my body that I sent them a uh, bit different to how I look now but I'm really excited for it really happy so there is no trade today uh, the initial plan was to wake up and do some cardio or go to the gym and do a quick leg session because the gym by uh, my house my flat I could uh, easily do like my eight sets of quads eight sets of hamstrings on like just some machine work but decided against it figured more rest could be better for today especially with it being my first I'm a little bit nervous just because of the size of the thing that I've gone for uh, and the location which I'll probably I'll definitely talk about later or in another video maybe tonight on the, the video of the way home but yeah, I decided to do that. So I had a like steak for breakfast. I went to Morrison's last night and found like this massive like 20 ounce steak. So I cut that in half. Had half of that this morning with my porridge, coffee, banana, and all that. Uh, and I've packed a bunch of like pots of dried fruit. So I want to make sure my sugars are, are higher during this because the amount of like adrenaline and like shock it puts on your body. Um, so I've got fruit pots which have got like dried. Um, dried banana chips in them, sultanas and raisins. Um, what else is in them? Mango. And then I put, uh, I saw it on the shelf. I thought, oh, this looks nice. Like, I like I like ginger. So I grabbed some crystallized ginger and then realized it's for baking. But I put that in anyway. Um, it's a nice little bite to it. Uh, but yeah, that that's what I've got. It's got four parts of that. I've worked them out to be about 290 calories a pot. Yes, I'm tracking my macros as best I can today. Uh, I probably, I'm not going to eat all of them. Uh, I have also got two bags of Harry Bows, just in case uh, things, you know, I need something else. But I'm going to try and avoid having them, just because I, I'd rather have fructose uh, than uh, just normal sugars. Uh, what else have I got? I've got a couple of protein bars with me, a couple of the carb killer grenade bars, the two of the white Oreo and one of the normal Oreo one. Again, hoping I'm not going to eat all three of them. Um, and then when we have a break, I've got some of the, like Aldi, do like these protein pancakes. So I've got them uh, with me as well. I just want to eat like, like small foods, which fill me up, but aren't too like calorie dense in that respect. Cause I, I don't want to use it. Like obviously I know your body's going into a lot of shock and stuff like that. And you just got to, you know, get back on, get back to, to stabilize, but I still don't want to be like taking the, taking the mick really with what I'm eating. So I could use it as an excuse just to binge on stuff, but I'm not gonna like, let that be the way. Um, plus, I'll feel better with all these foods that I've chosen as well. So that's the main thing. So yeah, that's that's the plan for the day. Got a couple of cans of um, well Aldi's version of Monster, um, just in case I need it. But this is the sugar-free version, and I've got some electrolytes with me, uh, and I bought a new water bottle as well, just because it's I left mine in work. But yeah, that's that's today. So there'll be no trading today. There's probably going to be no training for the next couple of days, but I'll still I'll still try and do these videos because this gives me something to one focus on and distract myself with, but also like to improve my sort of familiarity with like Final Cut Pro that I'm using to edit it. Um, like I'm getting quicker with all the 
uh, editing, which is good. So yeah, like it gives me something to think about and focus on, which isn't um, just normal day to day stuff. But yeah, that's that's what today is going to be. So next time you see me, I'll be back in this car. I will be battered. Um, so yeah, I'll see you in a bit. All right. Good morning, everyone. Uh, whew. So there was no upload yesterday. And uh, yeah, you'll see that this is like a, there's a car video at the start of this and it's gone straight into another car video. Um, the intention was after the first one, I would be um, able to film on my way back. However, uh, after getting the tattoo yesterday, everything just hurts so much, funnily enough. When you get someone stabbing needles into the front of your body for five and a half hours, um, yeah, it's a little bit sore. Um, but yeah, I got a, a no train today, obviously. No train tomorrow. Uh, I'm not 100% certain when I'll be back in the gym to, to train, uh, which is, you know, obviously given what I'm doing and what I'm trying to train for and everything, like it's a little bit like taking a break sucks. However, that said, uh, I was due a deload of some respect anyway, so why not just do it this way? Um, I put my body into an immense amount of stress and getting a tattoo. Um, yeah, I was, I was going to take it as a slight deload um, slash break uh, and then just come back with more, more fire after it. So essentially, um, oh, you're doing something that no one ever really does. That's weird. Okay, you went the wrong way. Um, essentially, what I need, what I'm going to be doing today is I'm heading down to PV Performance Gym, so the place where we had the uh, the Autumn Cup. And we've got a session with the Welsh team that we're taking to Ireland for the Home Nations competition, which is November 4th. I think it's that weekend. It's November 4th, yeah. So I'm one of the coaches in the team. Um, so I was heading down just to see the athletes, see how they are. I'm doing nothing. Um, everything hurts, so I'm not doing anything. Um, but yeah, basically, it's just going to be doing that today. Um, I might get some videos down there, might not. This may just be a vlog session. Who knows? Um, but I'll film after as well and see. But yeah, I uh, woke up this morning and... Oh, I can't remember what I weighed. Oh, I was lighter. Yeah, I was lighter today than yesterday. So my concern yesterday was that when I'm uh, when I was under the needle and sort of that, and like on the tattoo bed, and you know, we weren't stopping for proper food. I didn't want to have proper food because I didn't want to feel bloated. Didn't want to feel like I was uh, full, quote unquote. But um, yeah, all I had yesterday. So I had my steak for breakfast and you know, my normal porridge and all that. Uh, and then it was pots of dried fruit, like I mentioned. Then I had three of the pots of dried fruit, two protein bars, a small like Alpen fiber bar, a can of Monster, some electrolyte drinks as well. Well, an electrolyte tablet in a drink. And then some sweets and that was it really. Uh, I didn't want to have the sweets, but uh, I learned quickly that the fast acting sugars can be really beneficial whilst you're there. Um, as for the tattoo itself, there's a there's one session at least left on this. So we did the outline of it all to, uh, yesterday. And I love it, absolutely love it. Um, so uh, my artist, uh, Miriam Black, has done an incredible job with it. She's such a nice person as well. Um, her and her husband were both tattooing there and her husband had a guy in who had been having a tattoo done for three days in a row. Um, and it was nuts and they were all super nice and everyone was super like reassuring and like friendly and it was just a really nice vibe in there. It was great. I loved it. I loved the entire day there. 
felt like I made some nice friends in there. Um, yeah, but her husband was like super, super like calming and reassuring and like just gave me some tips about how to get through the pain and all that. And to be fair, like the only part, there's, there's a couple of parts that sucked, um, but just got to get through it. Uh, those of you that have got tattoos on your the front of your body can probably empathize here. Uh, ribs fucking suck. Um, armpit sucked. Uh, sternum was absolutely horrible. That was the like, the sternum was the worst bit. Uh, and I've also got like a scar on my left pec that I've had since I was like since I was one. I basically I can't remember a time before having the scar. Um, and so this is it's a patch about like yay big. Um, in like imagine that in a square type of thing. And that I could tell when she'd gotten to it because the, the amount of pressure that had to be applied and everything was completely different. And unfortunately, that scar's not numb. Uh, so that's, that was rough, but it's done. It's in, I've showered with water, with obviously with water, but I have washed the tattoo with water and water alone. Um, wrapped it in cling film last night to go back to bed, slept in it, woke up this morning, showered it off and then patted it dry with paper towels and applied some cocoa butter to it. So that's absorbing in. Um, yeah, it's just, just painful. But yeah, enough about that. This isn't a tattoo channel. Uh, I will not really claim to know the first thing about, you know, the whole world of tattoos. I, the little bits that I do know are from either past relationships or the fact that a lot of my friends are involved in that from the music scene that we grew up in. But yeah, that's all done. Um, for today's Welsh training session. And I've got a concert tonight. So busy day again. Um, but yeah, ultimately, good fun. It's going to be a bit of a weird one because I'm going to be uploading, you are going very fast. Um, I'm going to be uploading like yesterday's video and today's video, so sorry if it's a bit disconjointed, um, but I just wanted to get some stuff up there. I like, I'm liking posting regularly and I don't want to stop doing that, even if it's just like these little vlogs in the car, like it is what it is. Um, I'm sure you can all, whoever's out there watching it, can appreciate some of the stuff that's going up um but yeah that is i'm gonna stop rambling now that's today next video i might get some content film or some in pv i might not who knows but i will see you in the next one okay so leaving pv now and oh I am going to be, oh, that's tender. Uh, I'm going to be heading home now. I'm feeling uh, quite tired. Uh, still very, very exhausted from yesterday. But that said, first seeing some of the Welsh squad training was good. Um, some of the lifters hit some really good lifts then, like just before I left. Uh, Jody, one of the girls that's going with us. Uh, hit an easy 90 kilo bench which she's been chasing for a while so it's great to see her do that and then um dan uh hit a 315 deadlift which was moved super 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 convincingly super easy especially after having a rough week with it last week so yeah both of them i give them a lot of shit um and we have a lot of uh, like jokes back and forth with each other, but both of them are very impressive uh, lifters. So we're looking forward to see what they put up on the platform next week, or not next week, sorry, uh, next month. Um, but yeah, some of the other lifters over there as well, um, just doing some really, really good stuff. It's good to see like the community and stuff that uh, some of the squad have with each other. But as for me, I am I'm tired. I uh, had a subway whilst I was there because I'm still trying to hit my calories, but I'm also trying to um, like not be silly. Like I am dropping my calories a little bit at the moment, down to about 2002, 2003. 
just to compensate for the fact that I'm not training. Um, but I am up in my steps uh, to make up for that as well. So that is the plan. However, I don't know how possible that's going to be today. Um, I'm pretty much done with food that I'll have today. There is one, well, I'm going to a concert tonight. I'm going to see NF play in, in Cardiff. Uh, but one of the boys finishes work at half three, half, not half three, sorry, half five. So I'm going to go and meet him from work and I think we're going to get some sweets. Uh, I've left quite a few calories on the table, so I hope that we um, don't go anywhere too crazy, but uh, that's weird to sign on the road, at least to the word crazy then as well. Um, yeah, hopefully we're going away too crazy because I don't really want to like be stupid with it. Uh, but yeah, sorry if I seem a little bit drained. I kind of am. Like my energy levels, even though I've been eating and drinking, are still sapped. Um, yes, it was tough mentally, but I loved it. Absolutely loved it. I can't wait to get it finished. But yeah, we're not going to talk about the tattoos. Um, we're here to talk about me cutting and lifting, bodybuilding, and training in general. So yeah, that was today. It feels weird taking two days of rest. It's gonna be a couple more days as well. It's gonna be at least until Wednesday, maybe Thursday before I get back in the gym. Um, but we move, we move. So I'm gonna go home. I'm gonna splice all these videos together. Um, and then, oh, speed bumps do not feel nice. I have to take in some more painkillers and everything, but I don't know how long they're going to take to kick in. The cocoa butter I had on earlier is kind of, it's still there, so I didn't want to put too much of it on. So my plan is to go home. I'm going to have a nap. And then I might swim past my mum's house and grab some stuff uh, and just wear a hoodie so she doesn't suspect anything. Um, I'm not going to show her it until it's done. But yeah. That's it for now. I'm rambling. Enjoy whatever day you have today. Take your multivitamins and lift heavy.